Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 88. My name is Tanya. All right, well, I'm hoping you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Thank you for your likes and subscribes. I so appreciate it. Like on the way in. It gives me an energetic donation to the channel. Helps me tune into Why Are You. Time is reading, so whenever you press that play button, I believe that spirit was motivating you to do so. Flip the rules as you see fit. It could be saying you and meaning your person. It could be saying a person and meaning you. And if the shoe don't fit, it quits. Check your placement. You could have more than one astrological sign in your chart. So, let's call in spirit, shall we? And get this party started. Spirit guides and angels of your whitest light, please give me a clear message for the collective, one that brings healing, hope, and understanding of their situation. Please protect me as I open myself up to channel these messages, and please protect my beautiful collective. All right. Spirit, what message? Yikes. Visiting your dreams. Okay. You're too good for me. Raise your vibration so you may be aligned with your desires. These messages in your dreams. And this person felt black. They, that you were too good. They got this rude awakening. Things are falling apart for this person. Mm -hmm. Could be you or your person. Yep, cut off. Boundaries have been enforced. Ay, 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 ay. All right, any other messages for these cards? Spirit, um, this person who was cut off. Thank you. You're controlling. Control is stem from fear. Release what you cannot control. So this person could be controlling. You could be controlling. Give my card, spirit. So round it off, please, spirit. Thank you. Sex. Desiring a physical, intimate connection with you. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, spirit. Not too many. I need two more. Two more places there. This person got a rude awakening though when they thought that, that it was over with between the two of you and they they cut you off or you cut them off. Yep. You know, fear and anxiety are interfering, they can't do this. Or they felt they couldn't do it. Like I said, past, present, and future energy could be a play. Vice is here, be mindful of negative and toxic behaviors. So this person had negative and toxic behaviors, but they're praying for you. They're praying to get you back. They got a rude awakening when they cut you off or you cut them off. They had a feeling of black because, frankly, you were too good for them in their eyes. Right? They tried to control you. They're visiting you in your dreams, so there's telepathic communication, whether you realize it or not. But this person has toxicities, and one of them could be sex, intimate connections with people. And they couldn't come towards you because they, they recognize their toxicities or they recognize that they didn't want to change. One or the other. Yeah, you know, they didn't want to change. They thought it was okay to be that person. You know, what's wrong with it? Everybody else is doing it that they were friends with, right? Toxicity begets toxicity. They want your forgiveness, though. They communicate in dreams. Double confirmation, baby. They are connecting in the dream state. Yes, the 5D. So you might not see this person in the 3D. They might be driving by, baby. I'm just saying. They're keeping an eye on you. Yeah. Let's see. They want to offer you a new offer. They want to come towards you in a new way. Under attack, though. This connection was under attack. The vices created a... What is it called? Posse. Hmm. Maybe they wanted friends with benefits at first with you. You started out as friends with benefits, but that's how they came at you with this sex card out here. But the, they had people that they were entertaining or they had people that were friends of theirs that didn't want this to happen. They got a rude awakening when you decided not to play this game with them, just be a notch in their belt. Yeah, maybe you didn't know about the vices. Maybe you didn't know about the other people they had. You knew you weren't going to play, though. You knew you weren't going to take their crap. Or they, for some of you, just walked away from you without any explanation or answer, and they were gone. And you had to pick up the pieces and walk away and just keep moving forward, man. Some of you, it's that. For some of you, it's the other. Former and latter. Can't live without you, though. 
Mm, so I'm saying this rude awakening happened for this person because the connection was very intense. They didn't appreciate it, but they certainly do appreciate your absence. That's for sure. Spirit, I'm going to talk about Thank you. Yeah, they lost everything. This is what I'm saying. This is the rude awakening. Mm, they thought that they could move forward with other people, just continue playing the field. Yeah, maybe they tried to make you react with other people, women, men. Yep, they want bottle to come back to me. Mm -hmm. They want you to come back. Because life is never the same without you. It's, it's empty is what I'm hearing. They're, your laughter drives them wild or did drive them wild when you were in their energy. No one came as close. But, you know, they did not want it. They did not appreciate it. They thought that they could handle the connection, the intensity of the connection, how they felt about you. They felt that they had it under control. They didn't. They didn't. They thought that they could keep you on the sidelines like an elf on a shelf. They could keep you hanging on. They could keep you by their side and move forward with other people. And you would always be there as that, I don't know, as that person to lean on, you know, or the person to talk to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe they were thinking eventually, someday they would... How do I put it? Maybe they felt like someday they'd settle down with you. But not today. Balance, juggling, more than one option. Double confirmation of that. They just kept doing the most, man, and it worked for a long time. Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in the reverse. They want to come clean, though. They want to confess to you. They want to tell you their truth. They want to give you everything they have. They want to invest in you now. Because they don't have much to invest, but whatever they have, they want to offer They lost a lot, too. Eight of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, but in the reverse, yeah. You withdrew. You took whatever pieces you had left of your heart and you walked forward. You didn't you didn't look back. And that's what bothers them the most. What's that song? I don't even know the name of it. What hurts the most is being so close and having so much to say and watching you walk away. What could have been yeah. Could have been. Yeah. Oh my God. Look, I need. There's something about that song. I hate lately. I haven't been able to look up these lyrics before I come on because these songs are hitting me. What hurts the most is being so close and having so much to say. And watching you walk away, what could have been? Yeah. Oh my God, I hate when I can't remember it. All I ever wanted to do was to love you or something like that, you know? But they didn't know how to love you in the right proper way the balanced way it was all coming at you in that come on baby let's go and versus that slow burn of love where you get to know each other it was like let's hit the sheets that's really how it was even though they were very sly is the word i'm hearing in how they approached you like maybe you couldn't read that too good you weren't sure if that's the way they want what they wanted from you it wasn't like they were like let's go to bed it wasn't that obvious it was very subtle this person is a charmer page of swords gemini libra aquarius but in the reverse yeah very cunning they had a lot of i don't know it was more There was no action behind their words. Yeah. It was kind of meaningless in a sense, and that's how you probably felt meaningless. It's like you don't mean what you're saying. 
you know, you say you, you're attracted to me or you show that you're attracted to me, you love bomb me, and then you just never see you again for a while. Enough is enough and too much is good for nothing, you know? That type of energy. Nine of swords, anxious, sleepless nights, possibly victimization for me. I, why did they do this to me instead of what did I do to create this problem in the first place, you know? No personal accountability is what I'm hearing. Just blame in another direction. Like, they're blaming you. Versus, what did they do? You know? Takes two to tango, baby. Takes two to make a thing go right. But it also takes two to lose it all. The chariot. Yeah, the direction is moving forward for you in triumph through your perseverance through your healing but this person stuck two of swords bad choices put them in that position yeah maybe even misrepresentation of who they were as a person versus what they truly were which was toxic you know they showed you just enough for you to hook for hook, just enough to hook you but not enough to keep you from hearing spirit yeah it wasn't enough it just kept weighing the pros and cons of it and there was too many cons and not enough pros you know yep ten of pentacles legacy roots prosperity the pinnacle of success this is what's going to happen for you and there could be that new offer that's not from your person but another person that's coming in to offer that legacy to offer those roots to you, you know, the deep roots that keep you stabilized in a connection. Not surface where you, the winds blow you to and fro and you knock over. Ace of Swords in the reverse, yeah. They, they were weak and it was to their own self-destruction that they went under because of it. They couldn't see your worth. They just really weren't stable but they weren't ready is what i'm hearing they thought that they was better i'm maybe not saying that outwardly but their actions showed that the hierophant is here yeah education you're teaching them about it you're educating this person on how to act you're educating this person on who you are they're watching you make no mistake about that come on on the floor what the heck what's going on spirit Always on the floor. <sighs> Let's do another card then. They want to come out of the stuck energy with you though. They don't know how to do it though. You know? The Empress here, here they go. Getting it together, a father figure. This is a stable individual, but this also could be a person coming in that stable and ready, willing, and able to be a leader somebody to show up and show out king of swords in the reverse instead of a controlling individual which is your past person yeah judgment here there's an awakening double confirmation there's an awakening a transformation people learning the truth they want to reconcile though with you they want to change in the trajectory of this connection they don't want you to find somebody else and they might be feeling that they might be feeling you walking away from them yeah that's what hurts the most yeah they, they had the opportunity when you were close and you're no longer close. Three of swords in the reverse, you know? They want your forgiveness. They're really recovering from the heartbreak or you are recovering from the heartbreak, but they're feeling the effects of the heartbreak too. Don't get it twisted. They feel sad about this situation. They're not like living it up. Thank God this part, you're gone. That's not how they feel. That's not how they feel. Even if outwardly they say it or they look on social media, it's like fabulous. They're living in large. No, that's not true. King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag in the reverse. Stubborn person though. Well, stubborn people are getting involved. This Knight of Wands, this distorted, uh, no, King of Wands, sorry. This distorted King of Wands is really trying to control the narrative and I don't think it's your person. There's people here, hidden enemies in this situation that are talking in your person's ear about you, or talking in your, their ear about what they should be doing. Maybe they ask for advice, you know, to the wrong people. The hermit, yep, solitude and inner 
contemplation, they're learning their inner truth, they're learning and they're being enlightened about you and themselves. They're learning that these people, whoever they may be, are not for their best interests. The Knight of Cups in the reverse, yeah, somebody manipulated this person too. Somebody tried to manipulate you, this past person, and now they're being manipulated by others, so. The Queen of Pentacles, that's what you are to this person, sensible, down to earth, hard working. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They didn't offer you the cup of love, though. They didn't. To their own detriment, the sun in reverse, yeah, very unhappy, very negative now. The tower has come, yeah, a sudden loss, an epiphany, and a moving forward for this person. They are learning, they're learning because they got no choice. You have triggered something in this person to change. And the change is happening through really being cracked open by spirit is what I'm hearing. It's not an easy thing this person is going through. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not at all. And, and it was a necessary evil in order to mature this person. To become what they need to be. Not just for this connection, but for themselves. Serenity. Through love, release, and inner work, I know peace. I have a gentle view of life and welcome every step with confidence. I remain brave in the face of fear and have the wisdom to let the universe do its work. Amen. Amen. We have to surrender to the universe expectations and outcomes because we cannot direct our steps and when we try because we have free will we always find this cause and effect and, and it's negative at times people may think that i have the right to do what i want and you know god gives you spirit universe whatever you want to call it gives you that opportunity but it's sort of like your parents when you do something wrong. Whose fault is it? My mother used to say. It's ours. We need to be brave enough to allow spirit to guide us. Even when we're afraid. Even when we're controlling in the sense of we want to know. We want to push the outcome. We want to know what's going to happen next. We need to just let it go. You know? love light peace let it go and what is meant for you will be yours nobody will take that away from you that's all i have for you today in emperor series 88 please like and subscribe and join my tribe i'd love to have you till next time be safe out there my friends be blessed